Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about dividing whole number by a fraction. So actually, this topic is requested by a subscriber sa ating YouTube channel na kung saan, Sir, ang tanong niya, paano kapag nasa unahan naman yung whole number? So, ang gusto niya sabihin doon, what if the dividend is a whole number and the divisor is a fraction? So without further ado, let's do this topic. We have here an example, 8 divided by 2 thirds. Your dividend here is the whole number and your divisor is the fraction 2 over 3. So what is the first step in doing this kind of problem? First step natin is to transform your whole number into a fraction. So paano po? Simple lang naman, you will copy your whole number as your numerator and then ang maging denominator nito lagi is 1. So, bakit po 1? Because 8 divided by 1 is equal to 8. At they are equal. Okay? And then right after that, next step natin is to change this operation to multiplication. Next, you need to flip or get the reciprocal of your divisor 2 thirds and it will become 3 over so, yun ang mismo yun. So, you have your numerator, your dividend, your whole number, ginawa mo siyang fraction, you change this operation to multiplication, and then, kinawa mo yung reciprocal, or flip mo yung ating divisor, which is 2 over 3, it became 3 over 2. Then, right after that, you can proceed to multiplication. So, remember, ha, in multiplying fractions, in multiplying fractions, you can you are multiplying numerators to numerator and denominator to denominator. So if you will multiply it, it will become 8 times 3. It will give you 24. And then 1 times 2, it will give you 2. And don't forget to simplify your answer. The correct answer here is 24 divided by 2 is equal to 12. This is the correct answer. Pero, by the way, I can give you another example in which, or another way on how to multiply these two fractions. If you have 8 over 1 times 3 over 2, you can cancel out 2 because 8 and 2 are both divisible by 2 or in other words, meron silang greatest common factor which is 2. So, yung 2 natin, meron tayo itong 1, you can cancel it out. And then yung, four na, yung 8 natin, it will become 4. And then, pag multiply mo to, 4 times 3, it will give you 12. Okay? It will give you 12. And then 1 times 1, it will give you 1. In which, when you divide 12 by 1, it is also equal to 12. Same answer lang. Um, I am giving you this kind of solution kasi possible na magiging malaki yung number na makuha nyo at mahirapan na kayo mag lowest terms. Okay? So, I hope na nakuha nyo yung method natin for item number 1. Now, let's move on with item number 2. Yung ating item number 2 is simply 12 divided by 6 over 5. Again, 12 over 6 over 5. Now, first step natin is to convert or transform your whole number into a fraction which is equivalent to 12 over 1 and then change this operation to multiplication. Flip or get the reciprocal of your dividend, that is 5 over 6, and then proceed to multiplication. Tayin natin ha? So we will do the cancellation method. We have here 12 and 6. Parehas silang divisible or may greatest common factor na 6. So cancel natin to magiging 1 na lang yan. And then 12 divided by 6, that is... 2. Then multiply natin, it will give you 2 times 5, that is 10. 1 times 1, it will give you 1, which is your 10 over 1 is simply 10. This is the correct answer for item number 2. Now, I hope na natutunan niyo yung kung paano mag-divide ng whole numbers by a fraction. Within our... Now, I have here an activity wherein you need to apply 
what you have learned from this video tutorial. So we have here divide the following. We have 10 divided by 3 over 7. And the next one is 4 divided by 2 over 5. And I hope na makita ko sa comment section natin yung mga sagot nyo para malaman ko kung nakatulong sa inyo aking video tutorial. So kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like, subscribe, at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!